Hey everybody, um, still in Colorado here. I'm on the backside of Mount Evans and I just got a quick environmental message. Um, I hate people that say climate change is not real. I just hate it. Um, climate change is definitely real. Just look at the science. Um, science does not lie to you. And I agree, we don't know everything. Science is um, a subject that's always improving. That's a great thing about science. We will never know everything, but we know that climate change is happening. Um, I just want to talk about the fragile habitat that I'm at right now, which is the high alpine areas of the 14ers. There's lots of amazing animals here I've seen. Um, I've seen marmots, pikas. Pikas are these cute little mammals that have these really cute mouse ears basically. I think you can hear them in the background every now and then. Um, I've seen bighorn sheep, um, lots of wild birds. I think the name of the bird I saw was a ptarmigan. Starts with a P. It's a weird name, but just a beautiful little bird. Um, a lot of times people talk about the polar regions, the polar bears, the walruses, the penguins. Um, those animals are definitely endangered because of climate change, but so is this habitat. The pikas and the marmots, they need these high alpine areas. They're going higher every year. There's been studies about these mammals, and they can only go so high because at 14,000 feet, that's when the mountains end. So eventually, these animals are not going to have a habitat. So just think about that. Um, and it's not just here, it's happening everywhere. The Outer Banks in North Carolina are definitely endangered um, due to climate change. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, there's lots of things I can do better. Um, I bought a used Prius. Um, we grow a garden. We try to live as simple as we can, but there's always things we can work on to improve more. Um, if everybody just improved a little bit every day, that would actually make a difference. And the good news, I think, coal is on its last leg, if not its second to last leg. Hopefully they will figure out something to do in West Virginia. They can do lots of renewable energy there to help the miners. I do feel for those, those people, they've worked there for generations. But coal is on the way out. There's only so much coal, it's so bad for the environment. Oil. It's not on its way out just yet, but hybrids are getting more and more affordable. If a guy like me, I'm a school teacher, have an average income, if a guy like me can afford a used Prius, then a large majority of America can afford a hybrid car. And if we all do little things, that will actually help in the long run. So. It's just something to think about, right? There's little things everybody here can do. If you live in America, you are in the most wasteful country in the entire world. Um, China is a close second. China may surpass us, but we have such a giant footprint and um, hopefully we can change that. So um, I guess just um, think about that. Um, think about the habitat you live in um, and what are some things you can do to just protect that area. Um, thanks again for joining us. There's just lots of beautiful places all around America, all around the world. I hope you get a chance to have your own adventure. Just get in the woods, um, find a friend, take your family, hike alone. It doesn't matter. Just get outside and enjoy it. And we will see you next time.